you know? Yeah. He already it, get, it gets me. into your head. Come on, I want to see it. Do this? I want to see it, man. He did oh. it! I knew it! <laughs> 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 Player four, you rascal. Jackal was looking like, what? Why would yeah, he do yeah, that? So no, it, it messes with your mind because you're about to like start the game. It's like, what the heck? And then you're thinking of that instead of playing the neutral. It's his strat. It might not have paid off, though. Jackal firing off a little bit. Maybe a little upset about that uh, out of the game mind game. <laughs> yeah, Jackal being a Sonic main from the New Jersey area, South New Jersey to be exact. Uh, he's top 20 on the list, so uh, on his PR, so he's definitely a force to be reckoned with. You know, we got player four over here being a pretty good level player peach for the tri state. You know, definitely has a lot of peach tricks he's coming out in full force. It's, it's, it's one of the beautiful th beautiful things about having a tournament, finally, in like the tri state areas. We get to see some of the tri state players come out to, you know, breathe, get a little bit of spotlight. Seems like every uh, match so far has kind of had one. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, player four, you know, not really getting a handle on this Sonic matchup, not able to get anything going. Part of that is just due to Jackal. Not just the attacks that he's doing, but his spacing. He's just going in and out so well that player four just can't really get his footing, start any of the float combos or anything of that nature. Had a little something going, but neutral does reset. But, you know, player four managed to find an opening again. Good stuff. Is oh, that forward air going to do it? Wow. It did it forward air. Strong crown. Wow. Do not hold that ledge longer than a second because player four will take that stock away from you. Yeah, it's one of those things when you're, like, just hanging onto the ledge trying to wait. Think of what option you want to go for to get back onto the stage. And that neutral air. I'm sorry. I just lost all train of thought. That neutral air just killed with no rage, no yeah. percents. He killed off the top. I was just going to mention how it's going to be difficult for Sonic to get the killing low. Low and behold. <laughs> then he gets the neutral air. So like, this is in Brawl, baby. Good string right there. Classic stuff coming in from Jackal. Spin shots away to kind of avoid the whole situation of player four and not get edge guard or take any needless damage. Now I see player four kind of just chilling on the ledge a little bit, waiting to get back onto the stage, trying to play a little bit more patient game, which is kind of what you have to do against the Sonic. Like, you, Sonics want you to approach because if you get too close, they can just shoot off their spin shot and get away scot free. So you got to be able to, like, bait them out first. Yeah, that's one of the difficult things. Um, many players have talked about the difficulty of it. Anti-ally to be some of the more notable ones. And player four kind of falling apart there on the stage by going desperately for those dash attacks, trying to get some combos going. Almost gets a huge read from Jackal. He would have used a normal get out. That F smash would have been solidified that game. So obviously Jackal has to be feeling a little good, you know. Still winning even with that early loss of a stock, at, uh, ending up at 84%. However, at the same time, you have to think, what if it happens again? I'm at 48, he's at 107, but what if I hit that 70, 80 mark again and just lose my stock to something I'm just not expecting? So he definitely needs to make sure he keeps that same composure and not get too carried away, thinking he has it in the bag quite yet. Okay, we've seen the rare appearance of turn up. We see that roll onto the stage forward tilt coming from Jackal, trying to cover all bases with that spring. The reason he goes like into that direction is because he throws out a spring in case he decides to recover low. Does not matter. Gets the spin shot. No, sorry, spin dash into up air, solidifying that KO. And Jackal's going to take game one from player four. Good, good stuff coming in from him. Not letting that early loss of the stock to the forward air. <laughs> Now, I'm wondering if there's you like know, a the, the paper yeah, the yeah. again. He's just like, really a kid? Like I just won. I don't get it. <laughs> He's like, no, the, the, that was actually my win. <laughs> that was definitely my win. And the thing about player four is, I'm wondering if he is too isn't familiar familiar with the Sonic matchup because there were times when he was getting hit by the spin dash, and then when Jackal hit his shield, he immediately went for a spring escape, and he let go of shield and got hit by a spring. Lying together. If he would have just hold shield and like tilt it upwards a little bit, let the spring hit a shield, then he leaves Jackal's in a really bad position for player four to do whatever he wants. Let's see if he can adapt to that. It's happened twice so far. It may have only been a small adjustment, but at least this time he did get the first hit. Definitely different from last game. I mean he it's again, I mean just as you were saying, let's go that shield gets hit with the spring shot in that. Moves like that, it's always annoying to get hit by because you know it's coming, you know you can't stop it, and you still take that needless 4 or 5%. The thing is, you can't stop it. You just got to hold well, shield. <laughs> you can't stop it as it's going to come down. So yeah, just yeah, hold yeah. shield. Don't hit, hit a button or hold shield. Don't do either. And Jackal's recognizing I mean, that, so he's definitely going to keep going for it as long as he's getting away with it for free. Seeing a lot of up airs coming from Jackal for player four, trying to like apply a little bit of damage. And there we go. As you were saying, you cannot get too aggressive against the Sonic. Player four trying to force a, a little bit of his offense, and he just got opened up and is taking about 30% for it. Ooh, gets that up air. Good stuff coming in. Going to wait for the air dodge. He does not. 
And he actually air dodged into the ground, so there's a little bit of landing lag. Wow, nice double jump into the forward air coming from Jackal, doing a little bit of mix-up out of that spin shot. Yeah, we haven't seen that one come in. He's showing that he has a really good understanding of Sonic. So far, we've seen him kill all three stocks in a different manner. One forward air, one up air, one nair. So he definitely oh, is he going to get it? Good, good tech coming in. I don't think he was in jeopardy of losing a stock, but... He was out of double jumps, and Jackal recognized that, capitalized on the fact to just apply as much damage as possible. The player four reset the scenario by getting the tech and jumping just back onto the stage safely, just floating to the stage. Our Jackal's <laughs> great Whoa. stuff right there. Um, I'm not sure if he was aware that Peach was too far away for the homing attack to connect. Or not, but just up either way. <laughs> he tried to homing attack the ledge, that was crazy. It was like, uh, it was the safest spot to be at the moment. Player 4 using that spring to get a little bit higher, not wanting to hit the ground yet, and actually connecting with that nair, so the spring paying off. Good okay. grab coming in. Punishing the back air onto the ground with a little bit of landing lag. He's at 108%, he's at a death percent. Player 4 can manage to find a way to get a kill. This could be big for him, opening it up with that down air. Been seeing a lot of Sonics go for that option recently, down air to grab the ledge a little bit quicker. Um, they weren't doing that literally six months ago. Well, the thing is, it's a great mix-up because if you're holding onto your double jump, it's like, am I just going to up B immediately to the ledge, or am I going to double jump and then up B? And if someone right. goes out there, they might lose their stock and get spiked. Exactly. Now he's out of jump, so he has no choice but to go for the spring. Opting to go high, but we have nice coverage coming from player four. Just remaining into his float and going for some aerial action. Hits him with a grab. Forward throw. He's still living at 154%, 9%. Tries to get the snipe with the turn up. Manages to find, finish him off with a rainbow. Took a little bit, but he did X marks his spot. The sun looking like it's coming out on the rainy day for that up air. And that Jackal, good job. Just kind of slingshotting away again, saying I'm going to avoid the whole situation. But if player 4 catches onto that, he can actually snuff it out with an up air of his own. Yeah, if you go, if you start charging a spark, spin charge in midair and hit up on the C-stick, you actually go for that spin shot animation. And just it's really good mix-up. Just like, you shoot you at an arc to keep your opponent guessing. Oh, where, am, where am I going? And the, it's extra scary because when you guess, if you guess wrong, Sonic's so quick that he can punish almost anything. We've seen uh, several f tilts come out from Player 4 that have been with punish. Oh, you see Jackal go for that up smash, almost paying the price for it by Player 4 trying to rack up as much damage as possible. Things aren't looking too hot for this Peach. But, yeah, I mean, Max Rage is definitely coming into play. But this up throw, I was expecting to see a back throw. Um, it would not have killed, but it would have been a great stage placement. Oh, wow. tries to connect the homing attack, getting a little bit greedy, but we finally see an opening from player four, sitting at max rage. He manages to tag on some damage, does not matter. We have the cross up coming from Jackal, hits him with the back air, and once again, we see that paper beats rock again. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that, but did that every single time. So congratulations to Jackal. He's gonna keep moving on to the bracket, and I believe we're gonna have ourselves a treat for our next set. Is that Hungry Ooh. Box and Anti walking Hungry up? Hungry Box and Anti. <laughs> Legends in both of their respective games. Um, Hungrybox saying, you know, man, maybe I'll give Smash 4 a shot. Come a legend in game number two as well. Maybe you're seeing me in top eight at Evo hey. on both stages. Well, Hungrybox is one to, like, whenever there's an event where Smash 4 is there, nine times out of ten, Hungrybox is entering that event. He's constantly entered many tournaments under Smash 4. Remember, he entered, like, the big house. You know, yep.